Kia ora guys, between the 1750s and the 1900s, one of the world's largest exhibition was the Salon in Paris. And now the Salon was a bit of a big deal in the Western world, it was arguably the biggest, the most successful celebrated art show in the 1800s. Um, art was a profession, like engineers and doctors and accountants. So you would have government appointed officials with judges um, democratically voted in and elected who would go on and judge the artist's work and if you were any one of the lucky recipients to go and, and portray your work in the salon you will be set up for life. Now the salons will have its own kind of paintings. It would have these amazing battle scenes of soldiers and victories, glorious battles of horses. So think about that famous painting with Joan of Arc holding a flag with the soldiers um, you know, standing on top of a hill with the soldiers behind her. This is the kind of painting that wins you prestigious awards. Now, in about the same time, there's a group of friends, about maybe five or six of them, and out of those were Monet, Renoir, and Degas. And every year they had the same question about the direction and the future of their careers. They were arguing every day between each other about whether or not they would display their work in the salon. Because every year when they did, their work will be rejected, it will be sent to the rubbish dump because instead of glorious battlefields and, and victories and horses with amazing titles, they painted everyday life out of a different course style. So they had these arguments and, and the group of them were as poor as church mice. And there were accounts when the stories between Monet have to come and bring Degas bread, otherwise he will not be able to eat. And so, one year, instead of keep submitting into their work, into this big competition, um, they decided to set up their own exhibition. Every artist can submit their work with, with just one franc, and there will be no hierarchies of their work. You are all considered as equal, and you can display as many of, uh, bits of work as you can. And they started this little exhibition. And out of the first few exhibitions, they slowly gained a critical mass which made them known. And over time, right up until the day today, each impressionist painting in itself are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, one of my, one of my favorite authors, Malcolm Gladwell, talks about this idea that sometimes it is better to be a big fish in a small pond as opposed to a small fish in a big pond. If the impressionists kept submitting their works of art and kept getting rejected, the world would have never seen what impressionist paintings are. But instead, they went out of the mold and they created something themselves. 